Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Sunday the 12th, I think it is. 13th, I don't know what it is. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> it rained a little bit last night. All that rain is equaling snow in the mountains. That's where that predicted six feet of snow is coming from. But look at this. First time since sometime yesterday, late last night, I think one of the times I walked out to the shop, it wasn't raining. But not only is it not raining, there's a little bit of blue skies out there. Man, what a mess. Holy moly. So, <laughs> what do you think there, Sashi? It's all wet out here. Yeah, we got the, uh, when them dogs been digging in that fire pit, digging up stuff that's deep down and didn't get burnt. Man, look at it out here right now. It's wonderful. But our, <laughs> as I was putting my shoes on to come out here, I was getting the, the thing saying the rain's gonna be here in like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, got lakes all over the place out here. It's crazy, huh? Although I haven't got any alerts about flooding, which seems odd. Probably because the mountains are getting snow instead of rain, so that stops initially stops the runoff down all the streams and rivers and stuff you know let's put a flat bottom boat out there and go float around in the backyard huh there's some serious flooding going on out here i was going to take that trail cam off of that corner because i haven't even been putting it out here lately because all i get is kylie she likes to go back there and scratch her back around that tree. So that's all it is, is shots of her doing that. <laughs> I didn't think about that when I put it there. I was thinking all the critters that, that flow through here. So I'm going to take it off of its mount here now. I'll come up with something different. Here you are with Sashi on the bench again. Sashi sits on the bench. Our walk trail is now underwater. I sorry, Sachi. I went in for a second and it started pouring down rain, huh? You're staying dry in your little spot though. You're doing good. You ready to go in? And he says, I could care less. Sachi on the other hand. Wouldn't take long for that rain. They said 10 minutes. They weren't messing around, were they? So what I decided to do is stick the thing out here. Looking out so it'll pick up a wider range out there. One of the things the coyotes always run around in the... They must feed through the fence or whatever because we're pretty much fenced off. But <clears throat> Excuse me, they come running through our backyard. This is those ceramic things several of you have asked about. Kelly's just giving them away. There's a gal that was going to come pick them up. Um, but never never made it for whatever reason. There's all kinds of fancy molds. They were given to Kelly. And then her and her friend were going to do something with them. And her friend decided to get out of it. And So anyway. It just ended up, as you see, a collection for us to deal with. This is Kelly's little workshop area. We call it the playhouse, is what it was called. And we uh, we just refer to it as the craft house now. You see it's got all Kelly's crafty stuff in there, tons of stuff. <laughs> Got a heater running out here. What happened to the heater? What that happened to it? I don't hear my radio playing up there anymore either but it's all lit in here it's nice oh radio stations in a weird spot anyway Kelly used to come out here and spend hours and you can see that's this has kind of become a collection area as well 
she'd sit out here and listen to her little radio and relax. <laughs> I hung that up there for her. Trying to figure out what to do with it. So we'll just hang it on the ceiling. She goes, I'll look weird. I said, who's going to know but you and I? Nice, uh, really nice grinder. It's for uh, polishing stones and stuff for dads. Really into that. And then there's the bucket for it. And there's a little framework. It's a little electric engine. It's a rock polisher. It's really nice. She needs to come out here and spend more time. Clean her, her little area up. I don't know what in the world that thing is. Holy moly, what is that thing? Heavy duty's all heck. What do you think, Abby? Kind of nasty out there today, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. So it's probably been an hour and a half. Well, actually, it's probably been a couple hours since I talked to you last. But uh, anyway, just got another. It's been pouring. <sighs> Even more water out here than what there was. And all of a sudden it stopped and I see blue skies out the windows. So I thought I'd come out and, and uh, say, hey, take you outside. Actually, I feel it sprinkling on me a little bit right now. But I uh, was getting warnings on my phone that uh, from 4 p.m. this afternoon until 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday morning. Uh, heavy snow and wind windlock. Windlock has a lot of a lot of mountains around there, so um, it's not going to be the town of you know downtown Windlock where I take you guys for rides and. But going over the mountains, getting there, um, yeah, you'll probably get some snow there. And uh, it's been 41 degrees most of the day since about. I don't know, 9 o'clock this morning, just kind of made it to 41 and hung there. Um, it's dropped to 37 all of a sudden, so that got my attention. <laughs> no issue getting the field watered this year, huh? Man, well, we get these downpours every once in a while. It's funny, I get people that leave comments going, you know, oh, 70 degrees here and sunny or 90 or whatever or that's why i moved away from that that heck hole up there can't stand the the wet weather dude it's this is like to me literally the most perfect thing you gotta have four seasons i do anyway four distinct seasons that's just part of the winter sure you don't get the ride all the time but when it's nice riding weather around here you guys have seen it you watch the videos it's like no other it's like a dreamland but the cost of that super super nice summers is the uh, wetness in the winter it's just part of the deal super crazy long long summer days it's all worth it it seems like a bummer now but it's so so worth it in the summertime so don't feel sorry for me I could not stand living in a place where the weather was constant all the time. I would literally go crazy. What do they call that seasonal depression or something like that? I absolutely would go through that. That's for dang sure. It's really nice. It's very beautiful. Mountains everywhere. Just everything you can ask for. And everything's about an hour or so away. There's desert straight that way. Mountains everywhere, coast is just as a crow flies about 50 miles to the west. It's perfect, you got everything. You go into snow at any time you want, you can go to the heat of the desert anytime you want, you can go to the coast. Like I say, everything's roughly an hour away. It's wonderful. Just thought I'd bring you out here and see the last little spots of this little sunshine event it's so beautiful and it feels so good blue skies with that crisp bite in the air and the thought of snow coming that's that's very exciting as well hopefully it, it gets us 
You're not going to come over here by me, huh, Kai Kai? Kylie, she has never been a very personal horse. She thinks you got something, then she comes and hangs out with you. I don't know if you guys, I wasn't doing the daily vlogs when we had Deputy. I was doing it when we had Tough. Tough and Deputy, man, Tough was my buddy. He always hung out with me. I'd go out there mending a fence or something. He'd take tools out of my wheelbarrow. And <laughs> he, he was a goofball. Anyway, I'm heading in. I had been doing honeydews in between everything today. I got a couple of motor vlogs I need to build, and I didn't get into them. I'm too busy doing other things. <clears throat> I'm going to be wore out. I've been actually working my butt off the last two days. It's amazing how fast that weather changes. That's pretty crazy, actually. I just was out in the shop finishing up some honeydews. Madison, where are you going? Where you going, old gal? Abby, you meathead. You always hear them jets flying over. It's a direct path. What appears to be right over our field. Well, I'm sure, you know, when you're looking seven miles up. But military stuff, you get a lot of it going south on this side and then like commercial and military goes north from that side. So I think I'm gonna head inside because it's getting colder by the minute. I'm gonna head inside and try to work on one of those motor vlogs. There may be a surprise upload on the other channel. Pick up water everywhere. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man. <laughs> it's colder than heck out Wind here. Wind is blowing in my ear. I don't know, it's like mid 30s, but it's been warmer than that lately, so that feels really cold. They're still predicting snow. Looks like the snow for tomorrow is uh, diminished quite a bit, though. Looks like it's going to be a rain snow mix, which means it'll probably just be mostly rain. Tuesday looks like it could be the day. It was going to be Monday through Thursday. Now it looks like Tuesday is probably the only day. I was hoping we get a good old snow. I know it. I haven't looked at the reports of what all the mountains got. Mountains are getting it, just not us. Are they? The yeah. mountains are getting pounded? Mm hmm Yeah, you add elevation and it just, well, you know. Yeah. All that rain that we have here. It was all snow. It was all uh, snow up there. That's yeah. crazy. Be cool to drive up towards St. Helens right quick and see what that looks like. But Still need to get tires on that truck before yeah, I do don't any get stuck. snowmobiling adventures. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> <laughs> that wind is like going in my ear. The dogs have been very happy to lounge around in their little spots in the house. I know, and it's all nice and warm. Yeah, the fire's going, going. It ain't bad uh, in here at all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Got their little dog pillow things everywhere. Crazy. It's a mess in there. Yeah, it's a dogs gaggle everywhere. of dogs. It's crazy. <laughs> Love our critters. Yeah, it's like the... Our little four-legged extended family. You know? Yeah. It's nuts. It's like our four-legged children. More like it. I know it. It's so weird. They got all their little personalities. and Everybody likes things a certain way. Mm-hmm. They, they like, all have their rituals. Yeah. They like their certain little pillows. And one will sit on the others. And then you, they're whining. They'll never fight. But they're whining and crying. What is Leo whining about? Abby sitting on his pillow. I know. <laughs> it's like why they, you know, you got your, you got your own pillow. Get to it, you know. I know they like to lay in each other's spots. Yeah. And if they're not on their pillow, they're at your feet. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> crazy. In case the dogs know, but that's a gaggle of them suckers, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then springtime, you know, <clears throat> with their mixed breeding and stuff, they all shed. Oh. Not as bad as Leo, but they all shed. Yeah. <coughs> the only one you never noticed was Sophie back when she was around. I know, she's got that little, she had that yeah. little, tiny short hair. Chance. Yeah. Man, all the rest of them. They got that fluffiness. Yep. Yeah. That's some serious bag plugging, and you just, you can't stop vacuuming. No, no, it's just, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you got dogs, you know that fur is everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. It gets on your clothes, even your clean clothes. How does it get on your clean clothes? 
just the act right. of, I guess, walking across the house and putting the clothes away. It's just in the air or something. Right, I don't know. It. It's crazy. But anyway, that was a very uh, kind of chill and wet day today. I did release one of the motor vlogs I have sitting in the hopper. I've got another one that will be a, a long one that I did uh, Tuesday, I think it was. Tuesday, yeah. So uh, I won't get that done tonight. It's already like 8.30 or something, so I won't have time. But I'll get to it. Yeah. And uh, they, we, uh, I haven't talked, asked if it's okay or anything yet, because I'm not the one planning it. But the uh, 2020 road trip is is in the works. And this will be good. It'd be cool. Yeah, it's going to be really good. So look forward to that announcement. I'll, I'll talk to them and see. Well, it's kind of, we have an idea where we're going, but it's in the beginning stages. So I don't want to get anybody's hopes up or anything like that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about that when we can talk about that. Sounds good. But no, there's one in the works already. Yeah. It's the January... Although we're a little late doing last year's, weren't we? It's kind of a remember. last minute. I don't know if we were doing it in January. I think it's a little later than that. We we're doing the Washington road trip. But anyway. But on that, I'm freezing. Yes, I'm very <laughs> cold. My All hand's right. getting numb holding the camera. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday. Thank you. Well, maybe something will hold out tomorrow. I'll get a little ride in tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going motorcycle withdrawals here. I know. All this time of, you know, being able to ride pretty much every day. Get it's getting a little weird. Yeah, then... not being able yeah. to. Yeah. We'll get through these January, February storms, and it's going to turn into, like, super, super nice. Yeah. It'll be really good. Be pervy. Yep. All right. We'll talk to you in the morning. You guys take care. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching now. Yes. Bye-bye.